Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to be doing my current favorites um, for foundation, concealer, highlighter. It's mostly going to be drugstore just because I think the drugstore has really killed it lately and has come out with some bomb products. So for those of you who just need alternatives um, and don't want to spend the high end money. So um, I really hope you guys enjoy this and I hope it's helpful because I always love watching videos about foundations because I can't get enough foundations and I also love watching videos about dupes so a lot of I'll talk about a lot in this video of um, me testing out a drugstore foundation and just good alternatives to high-end makeup so I really hope this is helpful and let's just get started my skin is like a hot mess first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime um, these are my three favorite primers this is the Tarte um, instant blur clean slate timeless uh, smoothing primer. This is the Too Faced Hangover Hydrating Primer. I love this stuff. It smells so good. And this is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. And these three are just like my favorites because I have super dry skin and then I have really defined smile lines so I like to um, use like a blurring primer. And I actually did a huge Ulta haul and I ordered the Cover FX Blurring Primer so I'm really excited to try that. So I'm just going to start off Obviously, you don't need three primers to prime your face, but um, right now my skin is just a mess because of how dry it is outside, so I'm just going to start off using a little bit of the Too Faced Hydrating Primer and apply this all over just to make sure my skin is super hydrated. And then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this Tarte. Um, just take like a little bit on the back of my nail and then, then I like to just apply this in like my t-zone area so right here and like I said I really defined smile lines and um, so I apply it there and then right in here all right for foundation, um, I recently bought two drugstore foundations that I've been kind of wearing just to compare and contrast that are like super top rated foundations and this is the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation and I love this stuff so far. I also got the Maybelline Better Skin but I'm going to do a wear test on the Maybelline Better Skin tomorrow. So I'm going to go with this. Um, I'm in the shade Soft Honey but it's, it's a little too dark for me so... I'm just going to add a little bit of the NYX lighter drops to it just to um, lighten it up a little bit. Now this foundation is a little bit more expensive for a drugstore. I think it retails for like $12.99, but it looks really pretty on my skin. I've only worn it again though like two or three times, so I mean it's not a fair judgment and it's in the winter time, so I need to try it you know, throughout the year, but so far I really like it. I think it's great. Um, you can see it makes my skin look so pretty and it feels really light on the skin so I highly recommend this. For a higher end um, full coverage like really good foundation I really love the Too Faced Born This Way. I know I've talked about this before and I always tell people about it because I love it so much. I think it's one of the best foundations that I've ever owned. For concealers I have two that I absolutely love and that I must have. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. I think it's awesome. It's not a full coverage concealer I don't think. I think it's more medium but um, I love it especially for everyday use. And then of course the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm in the shade medium neutral. I know a lot of people say it's a little drying and I definitely see that but I don't use a lot so I absolutely love it. It's super full coverage, so. But I don't, I also don't use a lot of concealer. I just apply like three little stripes, a little bit there. Just start blending this out. And then, like I said, this is really going to help with this dark foundation because it is a little dark for me. Um, if I, I need to exchange it for like a more beige one um I wasn't really thinking when I got this shade it's just it's too dark okay and for setting powder I have very dry skin so I don't set my whole face um if I do it just looks like a hot mess so but I have found a really good drugstore banana powder and it's the makeup revolution banana yellow banana powder good drugstore alternative to the Laura Mercier translucent powder which I absolutely love 
um, and this is it. Like, this is so good. It's only $8 at Ulta. I just take it on my beauty blender and just kind of set underneath my eyes and everywhere where we put that concealer. I found that applying it with a damp beauty blender has just made it last that much longer. And like I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's a yellow, you know, banana powder. Why are you setting your face with it? I, because a lot of people just use it underneath their eyes. I, I just, I love it. So I just put it where I put concealer and I think it does the job. Sets all my makeup. Like I said, I do have like a really harsh smile line. So I like to just kind of dust a little bit of that banana powder where my smile lines are. I love this Smashbox bronzer. See that? It's suntan matte. They don't sell it anymore, so I hate that I'm telling you about it, but this is kind of the shade. So it's kind of like the Hula bronzer. Next thing I'm going to do for bronzer, um, for all over the face, I love this stuff. It's the NYX Matte Bronzer. And I'm in the shade Deep Tan. My favorite, all-time favorite high-end bronzer is the MAC Give Me Sun. And unfortunately, I lost the cap. Like, it popped off. So, like, I can't show you the front. But this is the shade. It's called Give Me Sun, MAC Give Me Sun. So, it's, like, super popular. But it's my favorite ever. Just take. I'm just going to take this NYX and just kind of bronze up the skin. Don't need too much. So far, this NYX bronzer is my favorite drugstore bronzer that I've found. That is matte. Because I like a little bit of shimmer but I love to like go crazy with the highlighter so I'd rather have a matte bronzer. Maybelline Master Chrome. This is in the shade Molten Golden. No, Molten Gold. <laughs> and it's seriously the best drugstore highlighter ever. Like look at that. I used to be obsessed with Becca and I still am obsessed with Becca. That's my favorite makeup brand. But this Laura Geller Gilded Honey is incredible so pretty so that's a drug or a high-end alternative but right now i'm just gonna use this maybelline master chrome i like to bring mine more towards the center of my cheek just because i'm very dry skin and i really like that wet look um, so I like to bring mine more down. You can, if you have oily skin, I definitely recommend keeping it from here up and not bringing it so far down. It's just gonna kind of emphasize texture and bring out that oils right there that you don't, that you're trying to hide. So I would, I don't have that just because my skin is so damn dry. So, um, if you have oily skin, I would just stick to, um, right where your eyebrow ends and up. And I like to kind of brush it up get on chin cupid's bow and then I take it nose center my nose and then I will give that above the eyebrow and my eyebrows are not done so do not judge and this elf blush quad mine is so dirty like this it's just a little quad I really love it I really love this shade I think it's so complimentary. I just take a little bit back. Up. Okay, I am going to add eyebrows and a little bit of mascara and then I will be right back. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I did my eyebrows, um, put some mascara on and some this like matte metallic lip from Revlon on my lips. And so this is kind of what it looks like. I really like it. Zoom you in a little bit. All in all, I absolutely love it. I think the foundation is awesome. I need a different shade for sure. Love it. I love the finish and the powders and the highlighters and the, and the concealers. I just love it all. And I really hope this was helpful just for some people who needed some like drugstore alternatives to some high-end makeup. I know my primers were high-end and primers is just one thing that I just, I rec really recommend to splurge on. They last you forever. And um, it's really what's gonna set the tone and the base for how your foundation and everything goes on. So uh, everything else I really hope was helpful and I will see you guys in my next video.